If you've ever been in an argument with an avid Donald Trump supporter, you will very quickly find out that these people have no idea what they're talking about when they defend the president. Usually they'll revert to some kind of tactic of, ah, liberals are stupid. You snowflake, go find your safe space. That's about all they can do. They'll say that, oh, you're being funded by George Soros. Cause that's also another common Republican talking point. But here's the thing. This is what Republicans all around this country have to be willing to admit at this point. You Republican voters out there voted for a very pathetic loser to be our president of the United States. There is no other way to say that at this point, Donald Trump is pathetic. He is whiny and he's a loser. Yeah, he won the electoral vote, whatever. You can win things and still be a loser though. And that's what Donald Trump is. His response to Hurricane Harvey is the latest example of what a horrible human being Donald Trump truly is. All of his uh, uh, policies that he's gone along with and want, wanting Republicans to push about taking away money uh, from after school programs to give it a tax cut to the rich, that's pathetic and that's disgusting. And that's what you voted for in the last seven and a half months, Donald Trump has killed more civilians in the middle East than Barack Obama did in eight years. That's from the latest reports coming out of what's going on in those wars that a lot of us forget even are going on right now that Donald Trump is in charge of Donald Trump is having our military overseas kill civilians again, disgusting. But Trump voters don't seem to understand that. And yes, I understand Donald Trump is losing support among some Republicans, but there are plenty of hardcore people out there who refuse to accept the truth. I've seen a lot of Republicans come out and say, I do not support him anymore. This man is horrible. I was duped. I was lied to. I fell for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said to give Donald Trump a chance once he was elected. I regret that. That's from both Democrats and Republicans at this point. But those people who refuse to step up and admit that Donald Trump is probably the worst possible human being alive in the United States that we could have elected to be our president. Those are the people that have to understand that they were pawns and they still are. Do you think the Republican party actually cares about you? Well, if you're not donating millions of dollars to super PACs or their campaigns, they don't, they don't care if you drink poisoned water because they let corporations dump all their toxic chemicals into it. They don't care that you can't breathe clean air because we're letting corporations spew as much CO2 in the atmosphere as possible. They don't care that you don't have clean water because we're not going to put in new pipes. We're going to let you drink out of contaminated, deteriorating lead pipes. They don't care that your children are failing school because they can't afford glasses. They don't care that you can't go to the doctor because you can't afford health insurance. They don't care. And the sooner you wake up and admit that you voted for a loser, the sooner we as a country can pick up the pieces and move on and try to fix things. But as long as we have these Trump holdovers, those people who refuse to accept reality, we are constantly be it either by the president of the United States or members of the house of representatives or the Senate, we're going to be living with a faction of this country trying to hold us back, hold us down and take us backwards because that is exactly what these people who refuse to admit that Donald Trump is a horrible president are doing to this country. And it's what they're going to continue doing to this country until they finally open their eyes and admit that they were wrong. If you're thinking about subscribing to our channel, I strongly encourage you to do that. But if you're not thinking about subscribing, I would encourage you to start thinking about it. And then once you're thinking about it, actually go and do it. You can see the subscribe button right there on the screen. Or if you're watching on a different platform, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire.